If the compound interest on a certain sum for two consecutive years is rupees 220 and 242, then the rate of interest is. Well, it looks to be a complex one. If you start using the formula, it gets even more complex. But if you go by basic concept of percentages, they can be solved really quick, right? He says that the compound interest on a certain sum for a particular principal amount for two consecutive years, for two consecutive years is 220 and 242. Right, CI for two consecutive years is 220 and 242. Then what is the rate of interest? Then what is the rate of interest? I think uh, I, I'm glad that many of you have got uh, 10 percentage is the answer. Right or wrong, let's figure out. Understand that 10 percentage would be the answer. 10 percentage would be the answer if it is first two years. Yes or no? 10 percentage is going to be the answer if it is the first two years. But has the question clearly mentioned that the two values are for the first two years? He says that the compound is on a certain sum for two consecutive years. Now, two consecutive years may also mean that second year and third year. It may mean fifth year and sixth year or seventh year and eighth year, right? Seventh and eighth year are also two consecutive years. Will your answer be 10 percentage even in that case? I'll, I'll explain you how people have arrived at 10 percent. Right? Most of you have got 10 percent is the answer to this question. What happens? Let's say compound interest for first year. CI for first year. First year is equal to 220. CI for second year is equal to 242. What I'm trying to understand is have you guys taken it as first year and second year or just two consecutive years and then follow the same process? Are you sure that the answer would be 10 percent? Hmm? So if it is first year and second year, what happens? First year 220, second year we got 242. Now this 242 can be split as 220 plus 22. Why are we breaking it as 220 and 222? 220 plus 22. Why not 240 plus 2 or 200 plus 42? Because the interest earned in the first year is 220. The interest earned in the second year will also be 220 plus extra. See what happens in the first year, you will get interest on principal. Interest on principal. In the second year, you get interest on principal and interest on first year's interest interest on first year's interest yeah so if i say first year's the interest on principal is 220 second year also the interest on principal should be the same 220 because principal amount is not changing the principal is same so interest would remain the same what we get addition additionally in the second year is the interest on the interest so i've got 22 rupees on my first year's interest interest on the first year's interest first year's interest was 220 on that i have won 22 rupees what percentage is this 22 out of 220 how much is this? 10 percentage. So I can say that the rate at which I am calculating the interest is 10 percentage. So R is equal to 10 percentage. The rate of interest here is 10 percentage. Yes or no? The rate of interest is equal to 10 percentage. But my question to you all is, will it be still 10 percentage even if the two consecutive years are not first and second year? Think about that. Just think about that. All well, if you have got 10 percentage. But will it still be 10 percentage if these are not first year and second year? So it is similar to what we have solved in our videos on SI and CI, but not exactly the same. Yeah, 10 percentage is the answer. Now think of it. Suppose if it is third year and fourth year or seventh year and eighth year or second year and third year. Would you still say the answer is 10 percentage? Yes, no, no. Then you cannot say the answer is 10 percentage. I'll tell you why. Now we have to, I mean, I'm sure uh, Selva has not maybe watched the video, so he's got confused, not because of this, right? But the point is, like, like let's say if it is third year and fourth year, I mean, I'm taking a different case now. What happens in that case? I think the data in that case would be incomplete, insufficient to mark the answer because if I say CI for third year is 220, CI for fourth year, so two consecutive years I'm taking, it is 242. The problem now is I do not know how much on out of these 220 is on principal. See here it's very clear in the first year, in first year you get interest only on in the principal amount. You won't get any other interest because there is no uh, interest which was earned before that, right? In From the second year onwards your interest on interest comes into picture. But if it is third year and fourth year, out of this total interest that you have earned in 220, there is some interest on principal, then there is interest on first year's interest, then there is interest on second year's interest. How do I know what are these two values? Not known to us. In fourth year, what happens? There will be interest on principal, plus there will be interest on first year's interest, plus there will be interest on second year's interest, plus there will be interest on third year's interest. Mm -hmm. 
Yes or no? So think about this. Can you still say the answer is 10 percentage or the answer has to change? Again, I, I think I have not taken the right set of variables. This should be considered as dash, dash and dash. I mean, don't say that IP plus I of first year plus I of second year can be taken as 220 common. No, because whatever 220 is there, it is already included in 220. You can still take it as 220 plus 22. But then the problem here is in the fourth year, you will again get interest on the first year's interest and interest on second year's interest. So it's not that this interest on first year's interest uh, remains constant. You're getting any out of these 220, there is some interest on the first year. But in the fourth year, again, you will get some interest on the first year's interest. Again, you will get interest on second year's interest. So don't say that again 242 can be taken. I mean, you can actually split it as 220 plus 222, but it will not give you the answer. Because the question now is out of these 220, uh, out of these 22, how much is the interest in the first year? How much is the interest for second year? How much is the interest for third year? Or what is this IP is the question basically. This is what is the biggest confusion, right? Here it is very clear that the interest on principal is 220. So obviously the remaining is interest on the first year's interest. But here how much is the interest on principal is not known to us. So in this case, answer cannot be determined. No? Yes? So be very careful. The data is insufficient. Strictly speaking, to the question that uh, Silva has posted, the data is insufficient for us to mark the answer. Answer cannot be determined here. Right answer cannot be uh, determined. All right.